The bottom line is they all agreed uh, that Trump's arguments would carry the day in this case. I don't think that is a surprising result uh, after the arguments where I think they all signaled they were highly skeptical of state efforts to disqualify a presidential candidate. Uh, the chief justice, for example, saying uh, that essentially you would let one state dictate or a handful of states dictate the outcome uh, of the election. So I don't think this is a surprise. The Colorado Supreme Court was kind of off on a trip of their own with this ruling. Other state courts that had decided it had went a different outcome. Uh, so here we are. Uh, the decision now, uh, unanimous in agreement uh, that Trump's arguments will carry the day. He cannot be disqualified uh, from state ballots. ECB's news analyzes the Colorado Supreme Court's recent ruling, framing it as a significant event with potential national implications. The commentary critiques the court's decision, suggesting a departure from mainstream legal reasoning. It emphasizes the importance of legal consistency and adherence to established principles, particularly in matters involving presidential candidates. Donald Trump's argument receives unanimous support, seen as affirming conservative values related to individual rights and fairness in elections. Certain Supreme Court justices express skepticism about the state's efforts to disqualify a presidential candidate, viewing it as a check against potential state overreach. The discussion acknowledges the complexities of such determinations and explores the consequences of allowing individual states to heavily influence national election outcomes. Overall, the narrative examines the balance between national sovereignty and ensuring a fair and unified electoral process.